Hey guys, just the guy here with another episode of Septic. Uh, my voice is still a little raw, but I'm getting a little better. And I would just like to first up thank all you guys for your support. I'm up to 90 or 91 subscribers, and it's nice to see. You know, gross. Um, <clears throat> I moved this over here from over there, and I was a complete idiot last episode, by the way. Uh, another thing is you cannot pick these up with the you know shift and carry command thing. So you have to break it with like a pickaxe, and if you do, you lose all your blood. So that's a thing. I moved it over here because I thought I'd sacrifice animals with it because I never really tried that last time. But uh, you need to be level 2 altar to be able to make a sacrificial knife for other things. You need an iron sword or whatever. Or black quartz, but I don't have black quartz. Um, the other thing I was a complete idiot about is I was going for the Corellium um, orb thing, right? The Apprentice Blood Orb because it was what I clicked on. Apparently that's the tier two one, right? I need a congealed blood to make an weak blood orb first. I don't have a diamond, obviously. And the congealed blood is just rotten flesh in a melter. Now you only get um, 40 millibuckets per rotten flesh and you need 160 to make one blood glob. So you need four per blood glob and quite a few per uh, thing so I just had this little setup going this is actually the oh well, second one oh well, first one I've ever done but yeah so I actually do have blood already and you take one of these is the easiest way or you could pour it into an, uh, a table with nothing no plates on it and I think you get one thing at a time you can just break these up to four and the other cool thing is you can make these into the slime boots, which I used quite exclusively last playthrough to move around real fast. Um, I don't know what the congealed blood drop really does. Uh, and then almost anything that can use slime can use blood. Um, but the other cool one was, oh, it's not listed here. Oh, here we go. Uh, one uh, block and five things makes a blood slime block, which is basically a normal slime block, as far as I can tell. So, if you don't have access to some slimes, you can get slime blocks for pistons and redstoney goodness now. Uh, let's get another one of these just for the heck of it. And then we just take this and put it in the altar, which would solve my problem. Because I also noticed. All of the blank runes and whatnot takes an orb. The blank rune takes an orb, right? And then from there, you can make the speed rune, the rune of sacrifice, and everything else. I couldn't even make the speed rune without this. And then you got the rune of self sacrifice. The self sacrifice one is definitely the more important to start with. Uh, the speed is actually almost a bad thing because as you can see the blood levels going down where did my dagger go did I put my dagger in your right actually um, but as it's progressing you can stab yourself and give it more power What happened to my sacrifice dagger? It was just in my hands as I was working on stuff. Did I put it away? Nope. This is where the search thing helps. Uh, sacrifice. That's not the one I can make. Sacrificial dagger. Ah, yeah. So now I put it in there. But yeah, that's uh, that search thing is Y by default. But you just have to be looking at an item that exists in a chest somewhere nearby. All right, it worked. Um, let's get an empty hand. All right, so we've got a weak blood orb. This lets us build quite a few things. 
Uh, the incense altar and all that other stuff boost it somehow. Uh, you put an incense in there and you get a better rate for a little while. Not what I'm too worried about. Let's see. We just need a yellow dye. And a reinforced slate. So we can't do that until we have tier 2 stuff. Get tier 1, we need a bunch of blank slates, which we have. To make blank runes. Which we should be able to do. Alright. So just two uh, blank slates and a bunch of stone. It says any stone. Uh, it seems to be red rock, crag rock, or stone rock. I don't think you could use cobblestone, but maybe. But I actually have more stone than cobblestone right now. Hmm. Due to the blood orb part, I don't think I can shift. Nope, you gotta make these one at a time. So I'm out of blank runes, but I have exactly eight. That was good. I didn't exactly count it. I just made a bunch. So what we need to do is open our book real quick to make double check. But I'm pretty sure it's just every block around it and the one underneath doesn't count. Okay, let's to the main page. The blood altar... Okay, we don't need that. Add it. Ten thousand. Okay. That's. I swear. Where's that? Yeah, that's not what we want. I mean, that's what I just made. There we go. Upgrading blank runes. Um, you're not powerful enough. Locks known as blood runes are around the altar. You'll expand the altar's strength, unlocking higher tiers of recipes, as well as you do augment abilities of the altar. To upgrade the altar to second tier, you need to place eight blood runes around the altar and one layer lower. Okay, that's good to know. So basically the ground around it. Um if you're confused about the precise configuration, the item seconds can tell you the precise placement of blocks. I don't remember that working so great last time, but we'll try. Uh, yeah, blank runes work, but you want each rune needs to be swapped out for an upgraded rune as you can. Except this is at, at tier 2, you cannot use the corner runes as an upgrade runes. Two, three onwards, you can use these. Um... Efficiency can be found, yeah. I swear there was a picture, but I guess not. Hey, hey, we don't want to do that. Sanguine Scientinium. Is it a different book that tells me? Inspectorus Scandalinium. Okay, now how do I get that book? Make sure it's not one I already have now. I know I made a second one. Okay. So inspect this. A plant cloth in the blood altar. Or a book in the blood altar. Eh. I got a lot of books. I think. Oh no, that's another. Wish I could just dump a film totem thing in there. Always using these. Never have any. Alright. Ooh, I don't have enough blood. Oh good, I just barely had enough. Those little black particles, by the way, what happens when you don't have enough blood, it starts slowly losing progress. So if this book Yeah, it just tells you where something is missing. 
But since I don't have access to F3 just yet, it's less useful than you would think. Um, it's more important when you get to the higher tiers that have like little pillars and stuff. But I'm pretty sure it's just this. Uh, let's keep this. So these are all just going to be blank because why not? So this should be level 2 now. But it still needs blood. Oh, it's hard to tell when it's full. Oops. That happens. Actually gives a nice little uh, visual. I sold like 10,000, but I don't know what is that. So now we should be able to put our pearl in there. <clears throat> now the question is, do we have enough blood to get it, keep it going? But we shall try. Now let's put it in our hand. Ooh. Drop that. I'm just topping it off to make sure it doesn't fail. I don't have any improvements. Oh wow. A zombie actually got into my base. Pretty strong one too. Ooh, some of my first armor of this game, I think. I've been too lucky. And drops. It's weird though. Oh, it must be because of the trees. Uh yeah, I mean, there's nothing really spawnable for quite a while. Oh, yeah. We're in trouble. I'm gonna have to kill myself. I don't want to get enough blood fast enough. Yeah, I'm in trouble. I can't keep this going. You would think it'd be done. I'm just going to let it start over. I think, because I'm losing... I don't know how much progress you lose and how fast. But yeah. Okay. So first of all, I was gonna move my bed closer, but oh well. Let's get uh, rid of this. Was that too far? Wow. I wasted all that. That's too far. Okay, guys, I've died probably got another times. Um, I think it's full this time. I think it wasn't full last time. It's really hard to tell if it moves or not when it gets near the top. I probably still have to do some sacrificing.
but it shouldn't be as bad. And then I'm get some meat. Probably should have gotten some buffalo steak ready. Kind of why I put it over here. I thought I could sacrifice them, but. Not even cooked mystery meat. Mm. Here we go. Wow, all that blood. I leave for five seconds to get some food. There we go. So it takes the full thing, whatever it is, and then several sacrifices afterwards. We now have an apprentice blood orb. Not sure what the other one's good for. But, uh, I think I can sacrifice to my blood orbs now, but I don't know what they got. Whatever. So <clears throat> now we can just take our pickaxe wherever it went. Uh, let's just do those four for now. I don't know if I have enough yellow. Um. Luckily, I have a lot of yellow. And, uh. Runes. So we want self sacrifice. That's the yellow. The speed would be sugar, but I'm not too worried about speed. Ah, we need reinforced slates. Which are blank slates. Which are. St okay, so we got a bit of a. Grind to go through. So we gotta put these back. How do I have an extra one? Three, six. I not sure what happened there. Lag and something duplicated. So we just put one of these in here real quick. Should be make it easily. Here we go. And then it'll, oh yeah, it goes all the way to the next layer. If you want just blank runes, it's actually kind of hard. It'll start trying to upgrade itself all the way to the next one. Now this might be hard. Uh, I think I gotta get that one fully stocked before I do that. Very much death going on. Oh, it is a reinforced slate. I guess it was trying to go higher. Alright, so we got a reinforced slate. Rune of self sacrifice. So, this. You generally want to pick self sacrifice or animal sacrifice. Self sacrifice is generally easier to manage, but uh, animal sacrifice gives you bigger numbers. But unless you have like a massive chicken farm or something, it's harder to keep up. But this will make it so that when I do this, there's like an extra 50 LP or something. So we do one of these again. Even though it wasn't completely full, it should be easier to keep up. Why do I have a blank rune again? Oh, I, I grabbed one, yeah. Okay. 
Can't tell if it's upgraded. Still doing the particles, but it seemed to do that last time too. This is why I said the speed would be a bad thing, because the faster it would progress, the harder it would be to keep up with the blood. So we do another self-sacrifice rune. It'll be even better. Now, obviously, you can't really tell much of a difference just visually. Oops. But that's that. So, if I remember right, the whole entire reason I was doing this was just to get one of these, the blank rune. Uh, let's go to teleporter. The blank teleporter. It needs Oh the blood orb is all I needed. Okay. So yes. We are ready to make a blank teleporter. Maybe. I will need to make some blocks of coal, I think is the main one. And maybe a block of bronze. I don't think I have enough bronze lying around. Um Take these, come down to my alloy furnace thing or whatever it is. Does this work with blocks? No, it does not. Okay. So I'm going to need to pound out some of those as well. But yeah, guys, I think we made some progress this episode. Uh, this little table thing is definitely more complicated than I remember. I do remember it being a pain the first time, though. Um, and then this little book here will tell me what I need for level 3. Solid block at whatever, so there's got to be... Remember, it's like right there. And there's like a pillar. Or maybe it's this one. Do I have any blocks? Got some dirt. The coin it's hard to understand though, because like I said, I don't have complete access to the debug menu. 4761 I guess this one. Oops. Four oh six seven one one one. No, it's the same message. Right. Let's try these. Well, I'm not sure where they're trying to, but I think I'm right. It's um, the runes go right through these things, and then there's like a pillar with a torch or something on top, glowstone. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, guys, I think it's gonna be this episode. Um, might not be too long, depending on how much I can cut out. But uh, we got our blood orb. We're all fancy now. And uh, we can get to the teleporter next episode, finally, after I get a bunch of coal and some black dust and whatever else I need. But yeah, guys, this is uh, Just a Guy signing off. Catch you guys later. Bye.